Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to continue to show you how we can use Excel's Consolidate tool to summarize information from multiple Excel worksheets, multiple Excel workbooks. When we consolidate data by category, we're looking at data that is not symmetrical. So here we have our January sales units and dollars for these sales reps. Notice that in February we've added in an additional field, commissions. Commissions were not part of the January worksheet which we downloaded with units and dollars. And to further complicate matters, when we come over and look at March, we have dollars before units. Still, Excel gives us the flexibility to consolidate this information. We begin on a blank or a new worksheet or a new workbook. Go to the Data tab on the ribbon. In Data Tools, choose Consolidate. We are going to use the sum function. It is the default function. It's the most popular, the most common function. Next, we select the reference ranges for our consolidation. So let's click on January. Now remember that we're consolidating by, ca by category. So we want to select the labels in the top row and in the left column. Now later in the lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a link to the source data. For right now, top row and left column. We want to come over here on to the January worksheet. So we select January and we select the labels in the top row and in the left column and click Add. Now we want to come over here into February. Remember that February has an additional field. It adds in commissions. So we want to make sure that we select including the labels in the top row plus the left column and remember to click Add. In this lesson, or this part of the lesson, I'm going to summarize January, February, and March. So for our final range, let's come over here to March. And here, remember, in March, we have the fields reversed. Rather than it being units and dollars, here we have dollars and units. Select Add. We have the labels in the top row and in the left column. Click OK. And miraculously, there's the information. Let me just come over here into View and let's zoom it to the selection. So notice over here that in uh, January and March, we did not have commissions, but we had units and dollars. And they, in March, dollars preceded units. The information has been collected. Now, let me repeat the process, but this time I'm going to add in links. Once again, we return to the Data tab, Data Tools, come over here and select Consolidate. We're going to use SUM. We have a variety of functions that we can use, but SUM is the most uh, popular. So this time I'm going to summarize the data in the April, May, and June. I want to use the top row left column and this time I am going to create a link to the source data. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose April in the reference. Make sure that you have your mouse in reference. Come down here, select April. Select the labels. Remember we're summarizing by labels, we're summarizing by category and click Add. I find that many people just forget to add in the ad. Notice that we are not using the same range. So we have our running marquee, which indicates what we selected for April. So for May, I want to select the labels in the top row, the left column, choose Add. And finally, for June, I want to add in all the fields. In this case, we have commissions, which were missing from April and May. Click Add. I have Create the Link click OK and there is the information. Now with links we have levels of outlining. We have a level 1 outline, we have a level 2 outline, we also have collapse and expand for each of the labels. Now if you remember in our earlier lesson on consolidating by position, we ran into some difficulty when we wanted to produce a summary report or a total for our sales. It's interesting that when we consolidate by labels, consolidate by category, when I come up here, let's come up here to the Home tab and let's add in the Auto Sum. 
Notice that what I have over here, you see these blinking little uh, running marquees around each of the cells. Notice that they are collapsed. So when we summarize by the label, summarize by the category, Excel is smart enough to realize that we shouldn't calculate the detail plus the subtotal, only give us the subtotal. So there is our amount that we have, and it's a really great tool. So learning how to consolidate information from multiple worksheets is one of the 50 best tips that I share with you on my DVD, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.